Hello everyone, happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina and I'm a reseller on the Poshmark and Etsy apps. You can find me on Instagram at little.black.hanger. You can also find me on Poshmark at littleblackhanger without the vowels. And you can find me on Etsy at Altera Vita Vintage. So last Tuesday, I made a video about determining whether a clothing item is vintage or not. I will leave that video linked down in the description below if you wanna go check that out. I told you guys that I would make a video all about determining what decade an item is from. So that is what we are going to get into today. Um, we have a lot of ground to cover, so let's just jump right in. Last Tuesday's video, I talked a little bit about brands doing a rebranding or a redesign of their tag. One of the most useful resources that I personally use is vintagefashionguild.org. They have a huge library of different brand tags. It's broken down by brand, so you can click on the brand and see the brand's logo redesign, their tag redesign, and it tells you what dates that tag is from. So that is a huge resource that I encourage you guys to go check out. I will leave that down in the description box as well. I'll show you a few examples on the screen. This is the brand Liz Claiborne, and these are a few of the tags um, that they have gone through over the years. So as you can see, it shows what date that these tags are from. So yeah, like I said, this is a awesome resource to use. It's one of the easiest ways to figure out what decade an item is from, especially with companies that are super popular like Liz Claiborne or, you know, higher end fashion designers such as like Christian Dior or Yves Saint Laurent or Chloe, you know, higher end designers are definitely on here as well as more common designers such as Liz Claiborne. Another way to figure out what decade your item is from is to look at the union tag. We've talked a little bit about this in last week's video, but I wanted to pop up some examples of different union tags and what decade they are from. Some of them will say ILGWU, um, and some of them will say unite with like an exclamation point. They all have different designs from different decades or different periods of time. Um, so again, you can go on vintagefashionguild.org and they have the entire library of union tags there. My next tip is to look at the typography. Basically look at the font on the tag. For example, bubble letters were super popular in the 1960s and script was very popular in the 50s and early 60s. So that's what I mean by looking at the font. Another thing you can look at is the location of the manufacturer. So just generally speaking, if it says made in Japan, it's most likely from the 1960s. Uh, sorry, I keep looking down. I'm looking at my notes. If it says Korea or Taiwan, it's most likely from the 1970s. Um, Taiwan, some China, um, and Eastern European is 1980s, um, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, and tons of China. A lot of clothes started being produced in China in the 1990s. That's something that'll give you a little general idea of what decade the item is from. Another thing I want to talk about is the wool mark logo, and this is what it looks like. And this will be on your wool items, obviously, so like jackets, coats sweaters, etc. Um, if it's 100% wool mark, um, then it's no older than 1964. If it's 60% wool mark, it's no older than 1971. And if it's 50% wool mark, then it's no older than 1999. I'll leave the link to all these things down in the description below. Another thing to look at is the fabric. So we talked a little bit about this in last week's video, uh, but I wanted to share this information with you that I stumbled upon. I'll leave the link to the blog that I got this information from down below. Uh, but basically, I'm just gonna tell you guys when certain fabrics were invented. I thought this was a really cool little tidbit of information. So a rayon was invented in 1910 and it became popular in the 1920s through the 1940s. Um, acetate, which we talked about in last week's video, is a very fragile fabric. It's kind of like polyester, but it's it's a lot more like you you definitely can't put it in your washing machine. Um, acetate was invented in 1924. Um, in 1939, nylon was invented and the silky type of nylon, like that stuff that you see that is 
typical in like vintage lingerie where it looks like silk, uh, but it's not, it's nylon. That was super popular in the 1970s. Um, in 1950, acrylic was invented and that's very popular in vintage sweaters. A lot of vintage sweaters are made out of acrylic. Um, in 1953, polyester was invented, 1959, spandex was invented, uh, and in 1961, polyolefin, polyolefin, I don't think I'm saying that right, or polypropylene was invented. So I thought that was really cool, and that could help you date the item that you have. All right, so the last thing I wanna talk about is something that has really helped me. So basically I can look at an item and tell kind of by the style what decade it's from. This isn't always like surefire. There are other things that you can look at like the tags um, and the fabric and all the stuff that we've talked about. But the style is like your first instinct. What does your first instinct tell you? It'll really help you out. And once you start picking up a lot of vintage, you'll just know right off the bat um, what decade that it's from. I definitely encourage you guys to go on Pinterest, to look at different styles. I might even start a Pinterest board for like different styles so that you guys can get more acquainted with the styles that were popular in each decade. So I'm just gonna go over really quickly the popular styles in different decades, starting with the 50s. The reason I'm starting with the 50s is because 50s onward, is what's popular right now. I know like there's a lot of people who sell, um, you know, 1920s, 1930s, 1940s on like eBay. But for me personally, I don't sell anything before the 50s typically uh, because that's what's more on trend, I guess, for Poshmark. Um, so that's just me. Um, so I'm gonna start with the 50s. I've rambled enough. <laughs> so in the 50s, T-length swing dresses and sheath dresses were super popular. Um, basically that pin-up silhouette where it was like an hourglass, you know what I mean? Um, it really accentuated the body. And 1960s was the mod era. Um, and this was heavily influenced by European fashion. It was basically like those shapeless, straight down dresses. The baby doll dress was super, super popular in the 60s. So then when we moved on to the 70s, we see a lot of prairie dresses. We see a lot of peasant blouses. Um, we see bell bottoms and jumpsuits. The 70s is probably my favorite. I like the 60s too, but 70s is definitely my favorite. In the 80s, spandex was huge. Everybody was wearing spandex. You know those like net shirts where it kind of looks like a fishnet? That was very popular in the 80s. High-waisted jeans started coming into play. Acid wash, neon, big shoulders, basically anything gaudy. We all know what the 80s was. <laughs> And the 90s was when the grunge era started to come about. Um, mom jeans were super popular. The crop top started coming into play. Uh, basically, if you want to know what 90s fashion is, go watch Friends. <laughs> I hope this video helped you guys in your vintage journey. And like I said, as you keep picking up vintage, you're going to get the hang of it, I promise. Alrighty, so as you guys know, I like to end all of my videos with an inspirational quote that one of you guys sends me. All you have to do to participate in this is leave a comment down below with an inspirational quote along with your Poshmark closet name so that I can tag you in the video that you are featured in. Today's inspirational quote is not really inspirational but it's it's funny um so in last week's video i talked about how i was going to be making a video about this video about dating vintage um that's what it's called when you look it up uh but it was super funny because island chick who our inspirational quote is from today when i said dating vintage she thought it was funny that i clarified that we weren't like dating vintage she was like i thought you were going to give us dating advice so i thought that was funny and appropriate for this video um, um, so her quote of the day is actually my quote and it says dating vintage not dating vintage <laughs> so I thought that was I thought that was cute and funny and appropriate her closet her Poshmark closet name is island chick 66 I'll leave that on the screen as well as link down in the description below so you guys can go check her out go give her a follow share her closet and show her some posh love for making us laugh on this Tuesday morning <laughs> If you like this video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our little family. We would love to have you. We are 10. 
thousand strong. Thank you so much to everyone who's already subscribed. We hit 10,000 subscribers over the weekend and I jumped for joy. I am so, so happy and so blessed to have you guys in my life. Thank you so, so, so much. I may be doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm working on it. Haven't decided like what, what it's going to be but I'll work on it and I'll let you know. So if you aren't already following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. I'll leave the link down in the description below. And I will see you guys on Friday. Bye guys.